beautiful souls. I am sitting here with my laptop in my lap. <laughs> kind of ironic, quite literal in fact. And I was about to do some research on um, gorillas because so much of the diet information and support of following a whole food plant-based lifestyle, which is something that I've tried to do for many years now, one of the major arguments they tend to have in favor of the whole food plant-based lifestyle is the fact that our most natural and genetically similar um, animals in the wild are gorillas and they eat a predominantly plant-based life or they lead a predominantly plant-based life because they eat a predominantly whole food plant-based diet. So I thought this was interesting and I figured, hey, instead of going on and searching all kinds of different people and their opinions on the whole food plant-based life, let me just study gorillas and see exactly what they're eating and and how it's contributing to their health and potential longevity. Which brought me to the initial question of, hey, how long do gorillas usually live? Figured that was a great place to start if I'm trying to potentially model part of my eating habits and my behavior after this species. So I look up, how long do gorillas live for? And it turns out, even though they're so genetically similar to us and our longevity starting to push 70, 80, 90, 100 years, these gorillas in the wild at best are living an average of only 30 years while in captivity, like in zoos when their diets are being controlled and their stress levels are, you know, relatively at an even keel um, and their environments being controlled they're still only living a max of about 50 years, which I thought was really interesting. So why would I be trying to model my eating habits after a species, that was my chihuahua, <laughs> if you heard that. Um, if about, like, why would I be trying to model my eating habits after a species that doesn't even live that long, even in captivity? Um, so, I figured instead of trying to do more research and focus on a species that is very genetically similar to us, why not look at humans who live a long, and not just long and healthy life, but a happy and healthy long life. So that brings me to this video and this moment of inspiration that I'm including you on in trying to now do more research in terms of not just the eating habits and the physical aspects of some of the longest living, happiest humans out there, um, but even maybe some of the spiritual, emotional, and cultural attributes that help people live a long, happy, and healthy life. And maybe that can help you um, through what I discover and convey. Maybe that can help you to learn how to best adopt that into your life in a way that might help you live as long and happy and healthy a life as possible. And so much of this information I find also ironic, the fact that it's coming to me the day after I help my mom celebrate her 65th birthday. So happy birthday mom, I'm going to be doing some research on longevity. I hope I find out some amazing stuff so maybe I can keep her around even another 65 years in a happy and healthy way because she's amazing <laughs> and so are you guys love you all and i will keep you posted with what i find in the meantime although we're only a couple chromosomes different maybe even like a couple amino acids from what i understand as far as the dna work goes i wouldn't necessarily go putting all your weight into trying to live a life like a gorilla or even some of our earliest ancestors because let's face it they didn't live that long, <laughs> and I think that's kind of the goal in trying to be healthy and eating certain ways. So let's see if we can do better. <laughs> Bye.